Hello everyone, welcome back to Bold Vehicles. On this episode, we will be going over the fastest cars we've seen in the world this year. Make sure to stay till the end of this video to find out what car is at the top of this list. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash the like button. The world's fastest accelerating cars come in all shapes and sizes. From petrol to hybrid to electric, bare bones sports cars to ludicrous saloons, they all show that there is not a single formula for sub 3 second sprints to 60 miles an hour. Automakers have been racing to produce the fastest car in the world since the early days of the automobile, but thorough documentation about this battle only goes back to the 1940s. The 1980s brought the first major breakthrough when the 200 mile per hour barrier was broken. Another benchmark was set in 2005 when the first car reached 250 miles per hour. In 2019, Bugatti finally broke the magical 300 mile per hour barrier with a beefed up version of the Chiron. As of 2020, three automakers threatened this record. SSC claims that the Totara will hit more than 300 miles per hour, while Hennessy says that the Venom F5 is capable of at least 310 miles per hour. Finally, Koenigsegg claims that the Jesco Absolute will reach 330 miles per hour. Until these cars go into production and their respective automakers document potential records, here's the list of the 10 fastest production cars in the world. Number 10, Celine S7 at 248 miles per hour. The Celine S7 is only the second American-built supercar on this list. Introduced in 2000 with a naturally aspirated 7.0-liter V8, the S7 was upgraded to a twin turbocharged unit in 2005. Rated at 1,000 horsepower with the optional competition package, it enables the S7 to hit a top speed of 248 horsepower. Although it's the last car on our list, we need to note that the turbocharged S7 reached 248 miles per hour the same year when the Veyron established a record at 253.8 miles per hour. Celine wasn't far behind, but unlike Bugatti, Celine never attempted to set a new record for production cars. In 2017, Celine announced the S7 LM with 1500 horsepower and a top speed of 298 miles per hour, but that benchmark was never tested. Number 9. McLaren Speedtail at 250 miles per hour. One of the newest cars on our list, the McLaren Speedtail, was introduced in 2019, and it's considered a spiritual successor to the iconic F1. But that's mostly because it features a three seat layout with the driver's seat in the center. Unlike other cars on this list, the Speedtail is a hybrid combining a twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 gasoline engine with an electric motor. McLaren says that the Speedtail is able to hit 250 miles per hour, which makes it the company's fastest vehicle yet. However, the British firm has yet to release proof that the Speedtail is indeed capable of such speeds. Number 8. Bugatti Veyron at 253 miles per hour. The fourth Bugatti on our list, the standard Veyron, is the first production car that surpassed the 250 mile per hour mark. And it did it back in 2005 when it put an end to McLaren's long-standing record set with the F1 in 1993. The Veyron, fitted with an early version of the 8.0 liter W16, hit a top speed of 253.8 miles per hour on April 19, 2005. Its record stood for two years, but it was recaptured by the Super Sport version and then by its successor, the Chiron. This is the only Bugatti in our list that generates less than 1,000 horsepower. The W16 used in the original Veyron cranks out 987 horses and 992 pound-feet of torque. Number 7. SSC Ultimate Aero at 256 miles per hour. The Ultimate Aero is the car that briefly stole the record from the Bugatti Veyron, until the Veyron Supersport came to take it back. SSC sets its record in 2007 with a twin-turbo version of the car. The Ultimate Aero hit a top speed of 256.1 miles per hour somewhere in West Richland and held the record until 2010. The Ultimate Aero was discontinued in 2013 after several limited edition models, but SSC is now working on a new contender for the world's fastest production car, the Tuatara. While the record car came in with 1,183 horsepower and 1,094 pound-feet of tap, SSC increased power to 1,300 horses towards the end of production. It also switched to the original 6.3-liter V8 with a 6.9-liter engine. Number 6. Koenigsegg's Agera R at 260 miles per hour. The Agera RS may be the fastest of its kind, but the Agera R isn't far behind. 
Produced from 2011 to 2014, the Agera R featured the company's legendary 5.0-liter V8 engine, capable of up to 1,124 horsepower and 885 pound-feet of torque. The Swedish firm used this car to set a handful of records for production cars in 2011, but these were eventually reset by the Agera RS. Although it didn't set a record for top speed, the Agera R was nearly as fast as the Bugatti Veyron Supersport at 260 miles per hour. This benchmark places it in the sixth place on our list and makes it the second Koenigseggs to make our top 10. Number 5. Bugatti Chiron just up by 1 mile per hour at 261 miles per hour. The standard Bugatti Chiron made it on our list as one of four Bugattis. Introduced in 2016 as a replacement for the Veyron, the Chiron retains the quad-turbo W16 engine, but power was upgraded to 1,479 horsepower and 1,180 pound-feet of torque. The Chiron's top speed is officially limited to 261 miles per hour, which is a bit below the Veyron Supersport. On the other hand, the Chiron Supersport tops the list with more than 300 miles per hour, so we know there's plenty of potential under the hood. Number 4. Bugatti Veyron Supersport at 268 miles per hour. The Bugatti Veyron may be 5 years old as of 2020, but it's still among the fastest supercars ever built. Actually, the record set by Bugatti in 2010 places the Veyron in 4th place with a top speed of 267.8 miles per hour. This benchmark was achieved with a beefed-up model called the Veyron Supersport. Bugatti built a special run of 30 cars called World Record Edition to celebrate the event, but these vehicles are limited to 258 miles per hour to protect the tires. The Supersport was also the most powerful version of the Veyron, with its 8.0-liter W16 rated at 1,184 horsepower, 197 more than the regular model. Number 3. Hennessy Venom GT at 270 miles per hour. The Venom GT was introduced in 2011 and remained in production until 2017. Despite the seemingly long run, only 13 cars were built. Based on the Lotus Exige, the extensively modified Venom GT features a twin-turbo 7.0-liter V8 engine under the hood. Based on General Motors' LS7 V8, the unit pumps out up to 1,244 horsepower and 1,155 pound-feet of torque. The Venom GT hits its highest top speed in February 2014 when it reached 270.4 miles per hour on Kennedy Space Center's shuttle landing strip in Florida. Although the speed was higher than the world record at the time, it did not qualify for the Guinness Book of Records because Hennessy's run was in a single direction. Also, the limited production run of only 13 cars went against Guinness's rules. Number 2. Koenigsegg's Agera RS at 278 miles per hour. The most powerful version of the Agera, the Agera RS, became the world's fastest car on November 2017 when Koenigsegg's hit an average speed of 277.9 miles per hour. The world record lasted less than two years, but the Agera RS still owns a handful of benchmarks, including acceleration from 0 to 200 miles per hour, braking from 200 to 0, and 0 to 200 and back to full stop. Unlike Bugatti, Koenigsegg's didn't build a limited edition version of the Agera RS to celebrate the record, but the RS itself was limited to 25 examples. Number 1. Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus at 304 miles per hour. With the same gorgeous side spiral that makes the entire Chiron line iconic, the Supersport 300 Plus has an upgraded, more powerful engine. This means that it has the same beauty that makes a Bugatti a Bugatti, but its top speed was increased from previous models. The standard Bugatti Chiron is already among the fastest cars in the world with a top speed of around 261 miles per hour, but the French firm wanted to set a new record, so it created an even more potent beast. Bugatti took the slightly more powerful engine from the Cento Dieci, rated at 1,578 horsepower, 99 more than the standard Chiron, added longer gear ratios to the gearbox, and crafted a revised aerodynamic package that increases the car's length by almost 10 inches. The modified car hit a top speed of 304.7 miles per hour on August 2nd. To celebrate the event, Bugatti is building a production model based on the prototype called the Chiron Supersport 300 Plus. This car is limited to 30 examples, enough to validate the speed record with the Guinness Book of World Records. The vehicle also has an external design reminiscent of Bugatti's other top speed record-breaking vehicle, the Veyron Supersport. The Chiron Supersport has an all-carbon fiber body for lightweight durability. Inside can be found a quad-turbocharged W16, which has earned the fond nickname Thor for its lightning-quick speeds. 
There is no such benchmark of automotive success than producing or driving the fastest car in the world. It's a title that manufacturers have vied for over the decades. The records have inched their way upwards as cars have gotten sleeker and lighter and speedier. The formula for the fastest racing car in the world is an elusive one. Pedigreed, historic auto manufacturers are currently optimizing production cars to be ever faster, eking out top speeds that are mere kilometers per hour faster than their competition. In 2020, it seems that the golden threshold of around 480 kilometers per hour, or 300 miles per hour, will be beaten by not one, but as many as five brands. Delving into the makes and models which are racing towards that milestone yielded fascinating discoveries. Not only are auto manufacturers using the finest materials and most meticulous measurements and techniques, but they're also partnering up with aerospace industries and innovating new engines with every updated production vehicle. This makes each hypercar and supercar not only a work of art, but a cutting-edge example of scientific serendipity in action. Well, there you have it. Which was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you can check out our other videos. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Catch us in the next video.